io guardo se tu hai letto che ti destina il conte farà buona figura in questo luogo in questa stanza certo a oh, noi la cede ce ne dosi il padrone io per me te la dono e la ragione la ragione lo qui perché non puoi fare che passi un po' qui perché non voglio sei tu mio servo ma non capisco perché tanto dispiace la più comoda stanza del palazzo. Perché io sono la Susanna e tu sei pazzo. Grazie, non tanti elogi. Guarda un poco se potrei assistar meglio un altro loco. Powerful, beautiful, blending voices, great actors in a superb production. What more do you need? Very gorgeous, lush costumes, a large sounding orchestra, voices that aren't amplified, that they sing out over the orchestra without any amplification whatsoever. The set is working perfectly, it's beautifully lit. The costumes look gorgeous. Everything has just come together, the orchestra sounds good, you go, this is why I do this, because there's nothing better than had that all come together. Nothing better indeed. So what exactly does it take to make it all come together? What does an opera look like before the curtain call, when the set is but a bare stage and the costumes a room full of material? Years back, when the budget is written and the roles are cast, when the opera is just a score waiting to be brought to life. So the planning actually can begin four years out. Uh, and that's needed because we are an international quality company. I put together a budget. I pull in how much it's going to cost for the orchestra, how much it's going to cost for chorus, how much stage time do we need, um, how many costumes, how many chorus. We're doing all of the accessories. We do the hats and the bags and the scarves and the gloves and the tights and the shoes and the socks and the t-shirts. Uh, we get lighting plots months in advance to know where to hang the lamps. We get um, the set model if we're doing a new production. We get that as much as 18 months in advance. And build it and paint it and produce the whole thing, then break it all apart, bring it down here to the theater and then load it in. We basically have three weeks of rehearsals before. Uh, that's pretty set no matter what the opera is, whether it's a 90 minute opera or a four hour opera. We have um, three weeks to put it together. And the bigger the show, the longer the fitting time we have to allow for it. So it might take two weeks to get through everybody. It can be 300 people on that stage. We can make up people, wardrobe people, stagehands. To the orchestra, the chorus, the conductor, and the soloists. My production staff, the stage director, the lighting designers, all those people, it takes that many people to put on a, an opera. Nobody else does anything unless I say go. So basically I'm responsible for all of the technical cues and light cues and most of the time the follow spots and rail cues, things that fly in and out. It's a big juggle and you've got to know where all of these balls are at any one time. If you drop one, you can have a disaster. But on opening night, everything comes together as the pieces fall into place. It's just another night at the opera. We bring in internationally acclaimed singers. They have an expectation 
that they're going to hear quality and we usually deliver. We do the same standard on stage as you see at La Scala, Paris, Covent Garden, Vienna, the Met, San Francisco, Chicago. Um, so by the time they have arrived and they've taken their seat and they have experienced um, the greatest singers in the world with the kind of look that we put on stage, with the fine quality of our orchestra, they've had a thrilling experience. thrilling performance from a fantastic company. Hear the story of the marriage of Figaro when Wealth on Art continues.